High Court Enforcement Officers, a term synonymous with this show, where some beetroot-coloured, cardiac-looking pensioner with a rug on his head leads a posse of unemployable sociopaths on their mission to prove that there is nothing they cannot do to reclaim money. The makers of this show clearly have as few scruples as the stars of it, as via the use of selective editing and misinformed commentary, they give the impression that High Court bailiffs have more powers than God. But don't be taken in by the romanticised ideal that these people are New Age Robin Hoods rescuing family-run business from bankruptcy. DCBL, just like every other bloated collection agency, are mostly in the employ of banks, local authorities and big corporations. To give you a more balanced view of what their enforcement agents are really like, here's a clip you won't be seeing on Channel 5's show anytime soon because it proves what lawless thugs they really are. So can you identify yourself, please? The guy in this video has been living in this council property for about eight months. He's never been in trouble with the police, never owed a debt. Any letters addressed to previous occupants are returned to sender. He has no idea why this bailiff has demanded to be let in through the main gate with a locksmith in tow. Yeah, but I don't know any Nathan. I'm not Nathan. Right, you just need to prove it, mate. I don't have to prove anything. I've done nothing wrong. I don't have to prove anything. I'll put that on the notes. So, uh, you, you come here, who do you work for? DCBL. Okay, well, I'll tell you, like, you, you're harassment, this is. Oh, uh, is it? It will be, yeah. Well, I've got a writ to enter the premises, mate. Eh? Hey? I've got a writ to enter the you premises. Ain't. Yeah, that'd be I'm illegal. Not, if you enter this premises, how's that, illegal? that is illegal. It's not illegal, mate. I'm not, you're not welcome. Go away. Right, it's not illegal. Go away. It's not illegal. It is. You've got no, no right to come in here. All I need to do get is check my ID. Door. No, stop get, doing that. Get, get out. It'll be you're a stop. You weren't invited in. Right. Barge away and this is causing me distress. Away. No. This I'm is causing me distress. Oh, is it? Yes. Right. I was talking to you calmly. So was I. I thought and you started barging in. I thought you were going to go and get your ID. No! That's all I need to see. I'm getting protection, aren't I? Well, for, from what? From you. Get out. No. Get right. out of I my house. Right. Get out of my house. Right. Are you going to go and get, get some out ID? of my house? Are you going to get out of my house? No, I'm not. High court enforcement officers have no additional powers over county court bailiffs except to collect higher debts. No bailiff has the power to full sentry or push past you to enter your home. Not unless you've been stupid enough to let them in before or if you are on commercial property, or you owe a debt for income tax, or a criminal court fine. But no bailiff has the authority to force entry onto premises where the debtor no longer resides, least of all when they haven't even bothered to show any kind of court order or warrant. Can you get out of my house, please? Are you going to show me can, some can you get out of my house, please? You've you got going? no right to enter. Right, look. Are you going to show me some ID? You've got no right to enter. No, I have. Look, just show me some ID and I'll go. Right, look. Are you going to show me some ID? Yeah, I'm going to show you some ID. Right, you some ID and I'll go. Right, look. Are you going to show me some ID? Yeah, I'm going to show you some ID and I'll go. Right, look. Are you going to show me some ID? Yeah, I'm going to show you some ID and I'll go. Right, look. Are you going to show me some ID? Yeah, I'm going to show you some ID and I'll go. Right, Hello, can I have the police, please? Tell them I'm an enforcement agent. Hello, yeah, I'm a... And a guy calling himself an enforcement agent, he's, uh, he's just barged into my home. Well, nothing that means anything to me. He's asking for someone called Nathan. I'm not, I told him I'm not Nathan. I told him to leave me alone and he's barged his way in. If this home invasion isn't distressing enough, this poor guy has to contend with the characteristically blasé attitude of an emergency call handler who thinks it's her job to assume everyone who calls in is a time-wasting liar and then just work backwards from there. Yes. He's pushed his way into my home. Oh, dear. Well, he showed ID, but it means nothing to me. I just need to... He's not a policeman. He can't barge his way into my house. This is what I'm calling it a plea. It's just, it's just forced entry. Have you got any letters I can see? He, he's, he, he's 
push right in my face. I'm, uh, you know, he's intimidating me. Can you please send someone to get him out of my house? He's not leaving. He's got no right to barge into my house. Have a rip. He's got no right to come into my home. Barge into my home like this. No, he's going through my stuff. Leave my stuff alone. Right, Leave my room. home. Hello? Can you send someone, please? Well, there's a guy in my house who's not welcome here. Yeah, I haven't seen no rip. I just need your name, mate. He's just like, yeah, he's just, well, hey, he's just barging in, asking my, he's going through my stuff, asking stuff about me. That's none of his business. Get out! Just get out of my home, please. Can I, I'm, I'm allowed to use reasonable force, yeah? To eject him. Yeah, I'm recording it. I'm telling you, I'm, leave my stuff alone. You've are got you, no right to look at my stuff. Are you new to Get out of there. That is... Are you new to Get out. Are you new to Get out of my home. Get out of my home. It's none of your business. Stop taking... Right, stop pushing it's me. It's sizzle. That is... That's, that's my private right. stuff. You're not allowed stop to take photos me. of it. Stop pushing My me. God. You said someone's like, look. You did that. You don't want standing over here. Right, I'm, I've confirmed who you are. I'll see you later. So, just what kind of dystopian fantasy does this dirtball live in where he thinks he can full entry into the wrong person's home, search it for identification, photograph it, and then leave with a sinister threat of, now I know who you are. You wouldn't expect parasites like DCBL to think there's anything wrong with that kind of gross intrusion, but maybe they should familiarise themselves with the Human Rights Act because as these agents are attached to the court, they leave themselves wide open to be sued under Article 8 for breaching this man's right to privacy, as well as trespass, assault, battery, and multiple breaches of the GDPR. It goes without saying that no police officer ever bothered to show up at the property, and the complainant was palmed off with the new catchphrase of police in action. It's a civil matter. If you record me, the police will uh, take that, because that's classed as evidence, that means you'll lose your phone. For my own protection? No, I don't. Now, compare and contrast that with this scenario. Same theme, different story. In this case, we have a Marston's bailiff who's already turned up with a cop in tow. That way strikes fear into the hearts of debtors, but it's overkill anyway because he is collecting a criminal fine and does have the authority to force entry. Can I see the warrant, please? No, yes, you can. Let me have a look at that warrant. Before. Uh, sorry, you ain't going no, in for I am coming in there. No, you ain't going in for it. Even though the guy at the door has put up little resistance, this policewoman thinks that now is the time to make an emergency call on her radio. Officer, and I'm now going to execute this warrant. Officer, officer he has been, he's been very intrusive. Now, list time how long it takes for the police to arrive. I have, I have a heavily this. pregnant wife in and you've been very intrusive and you're causing Sir. massive stress. Okay. okay, and she has and she has a medical I'm condition gonna, I'm where gonna, she has to have a cesarean in a few weeks' time, okay, because she me, has a, a okay. problem with her uterus. You're coming okay. out with all these excuses okay. now, okay. sir. You lied to me before. Warren. I'm now going to execute. There's listen, a warrant. There's okay. another unit coming now. Now, okay. we really do need to just. If you have stopped me, you'll be arrested. Okay. Do you understand? Okay, right, just listen. Uh, warrant. Yes. He's got a warrant. Okay. I haven't seen the warrant. There's okay. the warrant there. The you're warrant. not recording the warrant. Okay. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Well, I promise okay. you. I'll, I'll hold that there. Sir, I want to see it. No, you okay. can see it. Has it been explained what the warrant is all about? Can I just explain one thing? Okay. okay? A warrant has to be signed okay. Okay. by the magistrate. Sir. Yes, it does. Heartwarming, isn't it? To know that the average response time for burglary is two days. Oh, a criminal debt for TV license fee evasion, as this man did, and the police will be there faster than you can boil a pot noodle. In fact, this could be inspiration itself to burglars. After all, why bother with the risk and effort of breaking into people's homes when you can just put on a stab vest, flash an ID card and walk right in, take whatever you want and be rest assured that the police won't do a damn thing about it. I contacted DCBL and asked them if this was the type of behaviour they expected from their employees. They just put the phone down on me. If you need help with any legal matters or would just like to support this channel, then please consider using the Get Help service or maybe purchasing one of the ebooks available on the Crime Botch website.